Hi guys, welcome back to Moments. Hope okay, you enjoyed my well, previous video. The topic is types of love language. Oh. I'll be giving you five types of love language. What is your love language? Do you know your love language? Do you know your partner's love language? So take your time and watch this video and I'll tell you five types. And the number one type of love language is quality time. Quality time means sharing quite good conversation and quality activities together with your loved ones. It's, it means a lot. Quality time is very important in a relationship. The amount of time you spend with your loved one means a lot. You are in a relationship. You guys should hang out together. You guys should go out. Do something fun. It's not just about calling 100 times a day. Mm -mm. We should have fun. We should, do, we should go out. Even if... Taking a stroll around the park means a lot. Just walking around means a lot. Taking a stroll in the evening, it means a lot. Quality time in a relationship is a very, very important thing you should do with your partner. And another type of love language is word of affirmation. Hearing the word I love you means a lot. Hearing the word baby I appreciate you, it means a lot in a relationship. Like, you, you really don't know how it feels for your boyfriend to just call you and just say, baby I love you. Like, it's just like a calm, like... Like a calm word, like it makes you happy, it makes you blush, it gives you that, that, that affirmation that oh my god, like it really cares about me. So it's a beautiful thing. You you're in a relationship, make sure you tell your your girlfriend or your boyfriend that you love them a lot. Like don't get tired of saying those words because those words mean a lot. It helps a lot. It heals a lot, and it makes your partner feels happy. Yes, and another 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 sign of of love language is receiving gifts. It, getting a gift for your partner does not mean only a birthday. Mm -mm. Like I was talking to a friend the other day, and I was like, "When last did you even send a gift to your girlfriend?" And it was like, uh, "She did a birthday February." That was when I got her a gift last, and I'm like, "Whoa, really? Why? Don't get tired of sending her gifts. Sending her gift doesn't does not have to be only a birthday. Don't be a boring boyfriend. It means a lot. See, I'm not trying to say." Your girlfriend is materialistic. Don't get me wrong. If sending her gift or she requesting for gift doesn't make her materialistic. It's just to spice the relationship up. It's the sign of love language. And everything, all these things bring fun to a relationship. No matter how little the gift is. No ma even if it's a pen. Even if it's a pen. Just get it and give it to her. Baby, I bought this for you. Like, it's just like, oh my God, he cares about me. Oh my God, he, have, he thinks about me. So all those things mean a lot in a relationship. And another type of love language is, is out of service. Showing love, showing that you care. Like, doing something to help your partner means a lot. Like, you don't know how little it is. Like, just say, baby, let me just do the dishes for you. Or you see your girlfriend carrying something. Like, baby, let me just help you with your back. Those things mean a lot in a relationship. It does not have to be the girl doing the cooking only. No. You can just go to the kitchen and like, baby, I'll make dinner today. Yes, do it for her. Forget about what your friends are saying. Those are your friends that are even telling you not to cook for your girlfriends. Find that they are the one cooking for their girlfriend. They are the one even washing their girlfriend's clothes. So don't listen to what people are saying. Follow your heart. Be, be, be a very super caring partner to your girlfriend or your boyfriend. Just spice the relationship up. Those things mean a lot in a relationship. And another type of love language is physical touch. And what I mean by physical touch, I'm not talking about sexual touch. I'm talking about handshake, hugs. Hugging means a lot. Like, it's just like, like, just imagine you're going to meet someone now, or you're angry, like you're really, really angry, and your partner just hugs you. Like, it's just like, oh my God, it just calms you. Like, it calms you, like, emotionally. Like, you feel safe. So, physical touch means a lot. Like, even handshake. You notice some people, they just, they just want to shake you. They just that does not mean they want to have sex with you. Don't get it wrong. It just means that is their own, that is their, that's the only way they can exp express their love language. So, it's a beautiful thing. Don't take it the wrong way. So, guys, hope you've enjoyed everything I've said. I've given you five lovely signs of love language. Follow it up. So, and if you have any questions, please comment below. And make sure you share these videos to your friend because a lot of people don't even know what love language is. They just feel, okay, I'm in love. Let me just go like this. No, you need to know the five rules of love language so that your relationship 
will be beautiful your friendship will be beautiful thank you so much for taking your time to watch this video and please don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to tell your friends and after you subscribe please click on the notification bell so you get notified when they start post a video i still remain your girl nikki and i'll see you some other time bye